Okay, Lou Depot back again with a simple little lesson on what vacuum breakers are and how important they are. And what there's a lot of questions on what is that vacuum breaker? You have a hose bib, and if you go to a Home Depot like I did and buy a regular frost-free hose bib, you're going to see that little nut on top that you don't think is necessary for anything. And that's called a vacuum breaker, and actually they're code now on all houses. If you do a new house and you don't have a vacuum breaker, you need to put a vacuum breaker on your hose. If you don't know how to do that, the Home Depot sells them. This happens to come from the manufacturer with one on there. It's a frost-free hose bib. But if you have a regular standard hose bib that doesn't have it on there, you can also purchase one at the Home Depot. This is a vacuum breaker. Instead of your hose going right onto the garden hose like you would normally do, you would simply screw the vacuum breaker on the hose bib first that's attached to your house. Then you'd screw your hose onto here. And now you have a legal hose bib, one that's actually legal. And I'm going to show you why that is. Basically, in every town, city, or county, the water company runs a water main under the street. And it feeds each house. And it also feeds... Color that in a little bit blue so you can see that it's water. The fire hydrants. So if there's a fire, there's water supply and the fire hydrants to put the house out. Problem happens at that when the fire department uses all the water that's available, there's about 50 pounds of pressure inside this water line, maybe more, 60 or 70, sometimes up to 100. Each house usually has about 50. But when the fire department opens up this fire hydrant and uses all the available water, instead of water pressure going to the house, it starts coming back down because it creates a negative pressure. There's more water being used than what's available. Now, instead of the garden hose shooting water out of it, it actually sucks air back in, and I know because it happened to me at my neighbor's house. It also happened to me on the job. So it sucks in. And the bad part about that is if you're working like I was at a factory, we were making these big 55-gallon drums full of driveway sealer, which basically you filled the drum up with a garden hose like this and let it fill up. As it was filling up, we were pouring this black powder, these big bags, and putting a mixer in there and mix it. It basically mixed it into a very liquid-like paint. One day as I was doing that, I saw the drum slowly emptying and the, the paint disappearing. And oh my God, what's going on? I pulled the hose out and it was sucking in just like the house vacuum sucks. You could actually, su it was sucking instead of water coming out. Which I was a kid then, I went into shock, I didn't know what was going on. But apparently there was a fire down the block. The fire department opened up the fire hydrant and instead of water coming out of the hose where I was at that town, it was sucking all the water to put out the fire and caused the garden hose to be a vacuum at the time, sucking in the black paint that I just mixed into the public water system because it went from the factory right down into the water system. Now when the fire department wraps everything up and the fire is out and they shut the fire hydrant back off and all the water pressure is restored, the first guy that goes and gets a glass of water, now the water flow is back toward the houses again. And there's pressure again. Well, he didn't get a glass of water. He got a glass of black paint. Actually, it was driveway sealer. Okay? So prevent that from happening. There is now a vacuum breaker installed on the hose bib. So before it sucks that paint in, it'll suck air. And the air will break the vacuum so it won't suck that paint. It'll suck air into the water supply system, which is okay. Okay, so these things are designed to suck air instead of sucking water. And that happened to be black paint. People could have, have a garden hose laying in a cesspool, laying in anything that's poisonous where water uh, backflow starts to take place. And it's not only from a fire. 
It can happen from a broken water main also. It happens, it's rare, but it does happen. I've seen it happen. And that's why there's vacuum breakers on our garden hoses. And then, by the way, they're also in commercial buildings and restaurants on f big fire sprinkler systems. You just don't see them, but they're there because the county or the water authority knows about it and wants it stopped. So that's what that's for. That's why these vacuum breakers are on here. So now you have that knowledge.